Hey, Dr. Robin here. I decided I want to be a doctor when I was six. So I actually told my mom I wanted to be a nurse, but I didn't want to deal with pee or poop or blood. And so she said, you know, you could be a doctor and then your nurse could take care of that for you, which is absolutely not true. Uh, it turns out, I mean, it kind of is, they do some of it, but I remember one time I was delivering a baby, which can be a little bit messy. Um, and this particular one, I got, uh, I had a patient who did not speak English. She was actually from a uh, Native American uh, group and did not, uh, was not used to medical care, but she was having complications. And so her husband brought her into the hospital and I had the privilege of being able to take care of her, which was an incredible experience because it was, you know, crossing cultures. It was helping someone who, who needed help and was terrified, but then she came to trust me. And part of that is I, took some steps towards her, what she was comfortable with. And so we let her have whatever position she wanted so long as it was safe. And I sat on the bed with her to actually deliver her baby, which meant that I was soaked. My, I was covered in blood and poop and just everything. I was such a mess. And the nurses had to lay out a path of towels from her room to the shower and they brought me clean clothes and I got all cleaned up and I took a shower and it was like the best shower, like going from that gross to that clean was just the best shower. Actually, you know what? Having a baby and having a shower is actually another best shower. Um, it's just a messy thing to do. And I remember telling the nurses that story as they were like getting me moved back there and helping me get set up to get cleaned up back there. And they thought it was hilarious. They're like, yeah, how did that work out for you? Because I've never gotten as messy as you are right now. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So um, but yeah, that's, I want, I said, I want to be a nurse. My mom said to be a doctor. And the interesting thing about it was at the time, about 15% of practicing physicians were female, 15, 85% of practicing physicians were male. So I still, it, it boggles my mind. My mom told me that when a lot of people couldn't imagine being a doctor because women weren't doctors. And, you know, a lot of people, when I said, I want to be a doctor, they're like, well, girls can't be doctors. I'm like, yes, they can. But you know what? The opposite happened when my kids were little. I'm a doctor. I have kids. And they saw my friends who tended to be women. And the first time my son saw a male physician, he was probably like three or four years old. And he said, Mom, boys could be doctors too? He had no idea. And of course, we all thought it was absolutely hilarious. So things have changed.